Hello everyone, I'm Dom Grow, and in today's tutorial uh, for Gross Plays we're going to make a fake access point or else a honeycomb uh, for, with Kali Linux. Uh, for this tutorial we're going to need Airbase NG, a DHCP server, et uh, Ethercup and SSL strip. Uh, Airbase NG is a multi-purpose tool aimed at attacking clients as opposed to the access point itself and the dynamic host configuration protocol or DHCP uh, is a network protocol used to configure devices that are connected to a network so they can communicate on that network using the internet protocol IP. The protocol is implemented in a client server model in which DHCP clients request configuration data such as an IP address, a default route and uh, one or more DNS server addresses from a DHCP server. Um, the problem is that Kali Linux doesn't come with uh, DHCP server so we now have to install it. So we, for this job we open the terminal box and, <coughs> and we hit apt get uh, install uh, DHCP3 uh, server and hit enter and now we're uh, we are installing uh, DHCP server uh, in version 3 of course um, so let's continue SSL strip uh, uses SSL stripping uh, uh, which is a man-in-the-middle attack uh, in which a network attacker could prevent a web browser from upgrading to an SSL connection, security connection, in a subtle way uh, that would likely to go unnoticed by the user. And uh, at last, uh, Ethercup is a free and open source network security tool for man-in-the-middle attacks on LAN. It can be used for computer network protocol analysis and security auditing. Uh, so this is the four base, uh, basically wanted uh, <coughs> programs, but uh, we're only going to need them installed uh, because uh, we have made here an, a script uh, that automates uh, this uh, attack uh, completely. Uh, <coughs> to run the script after the DHCP installation we have to right click on it, go to properties and in permissions tab go and check the box that says allow executing file as program to allow us execute, execute it so we hit close and uh, when the DHCP insta server installation finishes we are ready to launch our script uh, that uses these uh, four programs that we already said <coughs> and uh, make a fake access point. Uh, also, uh, for this tutorial, we're going to need some hardware, uh, which is an alpha the the alpha network uh, card that we used uh, in our in my previous uh, tutorial, or uh, another. Uh, Wi-Fi card with monitor mode capabilities. Uh, if you want to know what monitor mode capabilities is, uh, head to my my last tutorial, or I'm going to write down in the description. So let's wait for the DHCP server installation. So now that the DHCP server installation have finished, um, first of all we have to see with the ifconfig uh, command uh, with which uh, interface we want to work so uh, we are connected to internet with eth0 interface and we want to uh, make our fake access point in wlan0 uh, interface in your computer maybe may this be different so just check, uh, check if config command. So we go to the terminal and just hit clear. And now uh, we hit uh, bus 
we type bus uh, root desktop fake uh, access point dot sh and now the script have started uh, and it asks us for the network getaway IP address uh, the IP gateway is the IP address uh, of the router uh, or, as, uh, or in uh, our case of the fake access point so I want to type 192.168.1.1 you can type something else if you want and now uh, it uh, asks for the interface that we are connected to the internet and as we saw earlier in my computer is ETH0 and now for the interface for uh, that uh, the fake access our fake access point will uh, will use in my computer is WLAN0 and now the ASSID or the name of our fake access point I want to type free so now the script uh, have has uh, put uh, our network card in monitor mode and uh, now it asks if we want uh, the airbase and g configuration to add some switches we don't want so we hit n and enter uh, here the airbase and g have started now the dhcp server have started uh, the SSL strip program have started also and now it asks for ethercap to run with plugins or filters if we want we don't want so we hit again an N and enter the ethercap here also have started as you see everything goes automatically with uh, this script and now it asks if, if we want to start DriftNet to capture the victim's images. Uh, we don't want, want it because it, uh, well, it will make uh, our network slower. So we hit N. And this is the SSL strip log that uh, the uh, that the passwords and uh, usernames are going to uh, so uh, give to us. So, here we are in the victim's machine and uh, now we just go to settings and in Wi-Fi panel we connect to the free access point that we make we made. Now you see we obtain the IP address and we are now connected. Uh, so we go out of Wi-Fi panel and we head to a browser. Uh, in this browser we just go to a new Facebook page so we hit facebook.com and now here we see the username and password field uh, so in username field we just type crossplays at gmail.com and in password field uh, we're going to type uh, hello world so now we hit login and now let's go to our attacker's machine so here we are again in the attacker's machine and as you see we have many of output here um, here in SSL, st uh, SSL strip as you see has done his job uh, he it stripped uh, all the HTTP output and it have done as you see here we can see the email and the password that we typed uh, earlier in Facebook page but if we go to Ethercup uh, it gives us in plain text so here as user we see cross plays uh, as we typed it in the username field in Facebook uh, uh, in Facebook web page and here the password that we typed hello world uh, as we typed it in 
Facebook page. Uh, it shows here that uh, something went wrong, wrong with uh, the IP gateway that we gave, but uh, no matter. But that uh, because um, the script have done his job, the SSL strip uh, strip every, uh, have stripped every HTML request. And here with HeterCup we have sniffed all the username and passwords that we typed in our Android, Android device. So as you see, uh, there is no matter uh, what is the client that connects, we can strip every SSL request and we can take every username and password with uh, this fake access point. So be cautious and never connect to uh, a free access point. Uh, in uh, a future video we are going to see methods to be safe uh, from these uh, attacks, from free and fake access points and um, uh, from honeycombs. Uh, but uh, until then uh, stay safe and never connect to free access points. If you like my videos please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos. Goodbye.